there is a legend of the times when the world was yet nascent. The legend of the ancient red dragon who lies dormant in the land of scorching flames and boiling lava. The land that the cookies now call the Dragon's Valley. Over the ages, many adventurers and monster hunters ventured into the valley. Yet not a single one returned. Until a young cookie came, delicate, like a white flower. Other cookies pleaded with her not to go, but she only answered with a smile. Eventually, her traces were lost somewhere amidst the eternal flames. The cookie left a single uttering before her departure. It's for the cookie's good. The young white flower braved fire and brimstone all the way to the valley's tallest volcano. She climbed and climbed until her feet charred black and there was no more air but a thick veil of smoke. At last, in the crater of the volcano, she found what she was looking for. The legendary Red Dragon. Almighty oh, Dragon, I have but one wish. Grant me the source of life, guarded by the dragon kind. Teach me dragon tongue. And I shall create a cookie, perfect in their sweetness, uncrumbling, unafraid of sogging. <laughs> Foolish creature. The dragon's thunderous laughter rolled across the entire valley. To covet the sacred tongue, the arrogance of your lowly kind knows no bounds. The power of the dragons is so immeasurably greater than you, puny creature. What can you possibly achieve with it? Legendary dragon, I might be small and sorry in your eyes, but even the tiniest of creatures sometimes harbor the greatest ambition. Indeed, the cookies are small in size and prone to crumbling, but once you hear what they are capable of, you will change your mind. Is that so? Yes. Mighty dragon. Then swear on your life. I swear, mighty dragon. But in return, you must promise me. If you find my story of the great cookie heroes entertaining, promise that you will allow me a single uttering in dragon tongue. <laughs> Crafty little thing, you have my promise. Take an oath in Dragon Tongue, so that even you cannot break it. <sighs> Too smart for your small size. Well then, give you my promise I shall. A word in exchange for a story. Entertain me, and you will live. Kill them too. story begins in a lush jungle where countless berries of all kinds grow. You will hear about the hero of passion, Holly Berry Cookie. Oh, 
All right. Dragon scale armor, check. Dragon claw crossbow, check. Some berry juice, ha <laughs> ha. Lots of it, check and check. Looks like I'm ready for my journey. According to the innkeeper, the legendary red dragon has returned to the dragon's valley. <sighs> hmm. There is only one legendary red dragon that I know. But burning villages is not their style. Well, there's no point in this game of guesses. I must find them and learn what's going on. Time to hit the road. Where to, Queen Mother? <laughs> you! How long have you been following me? All the way from the palace, naturally. Your Majesty, I see armor, weapons, supplies. May I ask where you are heading? Oh, um... You see, uh, I had a craving for a glass of very special berry juice from a, a remote local brewery. With all due respect, Your Majesty, you're a bit too heavily armed for such a harmless trip. Oh, well, you know, these berry jungles are just teeming with all sorts of wild beasts. Your dragon claw crossbow and scale armor are not for wild beasts. Those are dragon hunting tools. Oh! <laughs> Those! <laughs> you got me there. Your eyes are as sharp as ever, my friend. Are you searching for the greenish red dragon? Well, I may or may not be. What are you saying, Your Majesty? Oh, enough questions. Are you saying I can't act on my own now? I cannot allow you to go alone. I'm going with you, Your Majesty. Since when are you so worried about me? I merely assumed that Your Majesty might find my company useful. Wait... It was Jungleberry Cookie's idea, wasn't it? Hmm. Correct, Your Majesty. Huh. Well then, what can I do? The more the merrier. But you were right, Wildberry Cookie. I'm heading to the Dragon's Valley in search of the legendary Red Dragon. If that overgrown lizard is behind the recent attacks, I must put an end to it. Your Majesty, there's more of them coming your way. Oh, monsters from the berry forest. <laughs> They're nothing we can't handle. Wildberry cookie, time to show your fabled skills. Audit, Your Majesty. Those are some fierce beasts. Oh ho! What? Tired already, Wildberry Cookie? No, Your Majesty. It's just... Ah, yes. I sense it too. These beasts, they are scared and fighting for their lives. Whatever is brewing in the Dragon's Valley is affecting this jungle as well. What will you do? When you find the greenish red dragon, are you truly seeking to propose an alliance? As you mentioned back in the Krem Republic. Too many questions for just one day. You see, I haven't made up my mind. Not quite yet. On one hand, the dragon's power will help us greatly in our war with Dark Enchantress Cookie. But on the other, can we really trust the very creatures who have been terrorizing cookies for as long as I can remember? Still, my first task is to find them. And then? Well, we'll see how our negotiation goes.
greenish red dragon. What? Did you say greenish red dragon? That slithering lizard is here? In the berry forest? Hey, listen to me. Do you remember where you saw the dragon? Or where it went? Looks like they passed out. Uh, that beast must be somewhere nearby. Let's go. Your Majesty, something has crushed the berry bushes. Hmm, yes. And those deep scars on the ground? Those are dragon claw marks. Your Majesty, do you think the monster attacked those unfortunate travelers? I see neither any cookie armament scattered around, nor any signs of battle. Besides, nothing was burned or charred here. As if the dragon was alone. Damnation! What? Your Majesty, watch out! Doba! Oh, I recognize this voice. I'll take care of it, Wildberry Cookie. Huh. Looks like we've found what we were looking for. <sighs> Could have known I'd find you so easily. Now you'll pay for ravaging these lands. You lizard! Huh. Huh. Is this really over? <sighs> Be on your guard. Dragons are notorious for their treachery. No doubt it's one of their dirty tricks. <clears throat> they... Huh. They really are defeated. Y you there, Pattaya Dragon Cookie. Get up and fight. D get up? What is wrong with you? Ugh. Happened. Where am I? Quiet! How dare you yell at Her Majesty Hollyberry Cookie of the Hollyberry Kingdom! You finally came to your senses, have we? You, Hollyberry Cookie, you brought me here. I'll burn you to a crisp! I told you to be quiet! Here, have a sip of this berry juice. It will help you calm your nerves. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Well, of course. You won't find a finer establishment in all of Berry Forest. What is it all about? Why did you bring me here? Ah, uh, didn't have the guts to end me. Hmm? Pathetic cookies? Ah, I see. You mortals want something from me. As a matter of fact, there are a couple of things we want. You could start by gracing us with a somewhat believable explanation. Why would the bane of the Dragon's Valley, who used to keep the entire land in terror, be found amidst the berry forest just like that, all of a sudden? <gasps> who said I kept the land in terror? Something has forced the tribes to leave the valley. It must be the red dragon from the legends. 
I heard they're looking for volunteers to join a dragon hunt in Dragon City. <laughs> huh? Are you really trying to tell me you're not the red dragon every cookie is talking about? And you want me to believe it? Surely I can tell two different dragons apart. Now you better spill the truth right now! Your Majesty, this one here is trying to trick you. I just know it. You puny cookies! I could burn you in but an instant for that! Go ahead and take your dragon form all you want. We'll let you have a taste of defeat once more. Your blabbering makes no sense, cookies. I was merely enjoying a brief respite, snacking on local berries on my way to the valley. Judging by your condition, you had the wrong kind of berries. Well, I never thought that a dragon would fall for our berries. Quite literally, all the way down from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Gloat all you want, but whoever is in the dragon's valley, that's not me. Cookies, always trembling in fear. For all I know, a toy dragon could have caused them to lose their minds. Oh no, my friend. Even the jungle beast sensed it. There's no mistake. Adventurers claim they've seen a mighty red dragon rising from the tallest volcano. And if memory serves right, my nest. Well now, shall we hear the truth? Say now, that uh, red dragon, they look exactly like me. Your Majesty, shall I make them end this charade? You! Yeah, you know, I don't like you. The feeling is mutual. I've told you everything I know. The red dragon from the legends of old has returned to the dragon's valley. Every cookie who managed to survive and escape tells that with a thunderous roar, it descends from the skies to burn villages of the valley's tribes. And you're trying to say that this dragon is not you. Burning little cookies in their little houses is not something I enjoy. And uh, you know it, Hollyberry Cookie. You are right. That I do. A dragon of such powers is rarely born. It would require tremendous quantities of life energy. And if that thing was indeed created in my nest, they must have channeled my powers. Who could have had the audacity? Ah, the dragon swore. The Dragon Sworn? Who is that? Um, it's uh, nothing. This imposter in my nest. Impossible without the power of Dragon Tongue. That little treacherous white flower. You dare to use the oath against me! I must break the pact, and soon to return my powers! Hollyberry Cookie with her light of passion, if I make her bring it all the way to the Dragon's Valley! 
Then perhaps... What is it you're mumbling about? Tell me who the Dragon Sworn is. Oh, you pathetic cookies! It is beyond your comprehension. Only a wielder of our powers can... Your Majesty, shall I make them talk? You... You asked what brought me to the Berry Forest. I... Uh, I may have lost the powers to assume my uh, dragon form. You have uh, sensed that, yes? My strength is waning. And you are telling this because... If you wanted to get rid of me, you would have done it already, yes? Instead, you brought me here, gave me this berry juice. Perhaps there is something you want from me after all. In my turn, I could also uh, use uh, your help. So, a truth for a truth. Now it's your turn. What is it you wish? Hmm. A war is coming. And we cookies need all the help we can get against Dark Enchantress Cookie's forces. Right now, she is mustering her armies in the north, in the land of Beast East. Your strength is great! We need your help, Pitaya Dragon Cookie. To have a chance to win this war! Hmm... Very well! My strength is yours. Oh ho! Agreed so fast. <laughs> there is a caveat. In return, you must help me. For there is little I can do in this state. First, you must venture into the Dragon's Valley with me and help me regain my strength. For that, I shall help you defeat that dark enchantress cookie. And we are supposed to take your word for it. <laughs> the choice is yours. I know who you are, Dragon. After all, we've faced each other on the battlefield many times. <sighs> and you know it too, Pattaya Dragon Cookie. You know that I am more than capable of flattening you with my shield, even in your dragon form. Double-cross me, and you will regret it. Since when was there such a lack of trust between us? So much for our battle-tested friendship. After all, I'm just a cookie now, like you. <laughs> you do bring up a good point. Then it's settled. From now on, we are allies. You have my trust, Pattaya Dragon Cookie. To the Dragon's Valley!
Ha! The clanking of swords. The smell of freshly tanned leather and boiling dragon head stew. Oh, the dragon egg monument is just like I remember it. This is it. Welcome to Dragon City. Uh, why do I have to wear all this? As if my cookie form wasn't humiliating enough. You don't want to draw unnecessary attention here, model tropical cocktail cookie. What did you just call me? I figured you'd need a new name. My patience is wearing thin, cookie. Quiet! This city was built by dragon hunters, and it's filled with knowledge on dragons. Someone might recognize you. You too, Wildberry Cookie. Stop provoking them. Forgive me, Your Majesty. Built by dragon hunters. Here in the place of the old dragon power. Besides... Hmm... Indant. So, it has no future. Hmm. But Wildberry Cookie is right. Petaya Dragon Cookie. You do need a less, um, conspicuous name. Let's call you Petaya Cookie for the time being. Hmm. At least it's better than the other name that Claude called me. This is the last cookie settlement on our path to the Dragon's Valley. We will refresh our supplies, have a good rest, and march on in the morning. But first things first, let's pay a visit to the weapons. And have a good meal, of course. Your Majesty, if you intend to indulge in berry juice... Oh, of course not! Are you out of your mind? In Dragon City, it is criminal not to experience the local beverages. Tonight, we are having the infamous Dragon Wing Fiery. But in moderation, right? Monsters! Monsters approaching the world! Oh, looks like the frenzied creatures have reached the city. Leave them to me. We must help protect the city. Cookies, get to safety! Swords, sharpest in the land. Crossbows, pikes, arrows, sharp like a dragon fang. Potions, get your potions. Wyvern tier tinctures, troll toenail solutions. We carry everything you need. Food supplies, provisions, just what any adventurer needs to keep their tummy full. Hmm, let's get something to eat. Excellent! I'm famished! This cookie body is getting hungry too easily. But, but I don't want to go! But you never know when the dragon will come. Now be a good kid and let's go. We must move somewhere safe. No! I want to stay here at home! Come on, just ten days? Let's go in the morning and stay just for ten days, okay? All the hunters are gathering to talk about the dragon hunt tonight. Are you going to join the raid? Of course! I can't just stand still when there's a dragon threatening the city. The city borders the Dragon's Valley, but even so, there is fear in the air. Whoever can escape must do it while they can. Your Majesty, but if the dragon from the valley is not Pattaya Dragon, then who might it be? Who knows? It seems that we won't learn anything until we meet the monster face to face. 
cookies. Have you tried this? Delicious. Stuck in my throat. Juice. Bread juice. What if they're deceiving us? For now, let's keep an eye on our old friend. Whoa! Whoa. So cool! Hmm. <clears throat>
Does she bite? Can I pet her? Of course! Our friendly buttercream dragon here will never bite such a pretty lady. But I'll advise you to keep your distance. <laughs> okay. Oh, looks like everyone here is mesmerized by your beauty, buttercream. Makes the dragon rider jealous. <laughs> <laughs> There's a handsome dragon rider, too. <laughs> Ah, dear ladies, my fragile heart is all in your hands. Now then, how about a glass of fire aid? <laughs> <laughs> Say, Royal Margarine Cookie, are you going to join the dragon hunt? Uh, uh, why, <clears throat> of course. They surely won't catch a dragon without the skills of a dragon rider. Trust me, ladies. I'll take care of that dreadful dragon in no time. Oh, our dragon city is in your debt. Oh? Looks like the clan of dragon riders has not vanished after all. But it has been ages since I've met one of the dragon warriors. <laughs> you call that creature a dragon? <laughs> Wyvern! A dragon! <laughs> oh, oh, you don't have the right to call yourself a dragon. <laughs> oh, oh! What got into the buttercream dragon all of a sudden? Buttercream, it's not a good time for your little games. Seriously. Scared you so much, hmm? Oh, pardon us, dear ladies. I need a moment with my fearsome dragon here. Hmm? Oh, 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 calm down, calm down. The beast got scared. That is all. The dragon rider here will take care of it. <laughs> yes, Wildberry Cookie. Unless needs must. Let us not draw unwanted attention. As you wish, your majesty. Weaponsmith, check. Provisions, check. Ha! Shall we head back to the inn? Well, well, well! Crumbled me down! Is it not sweet Pinky Berry cookie I'm seeing? Pinky. Oh! <laughs> You old chum! Oh, it's been ages! Where on earth, Fred, have you been? I've been waiting and waiting. Brought heavies with you, huh? <laughs> Those two make you look tiny! <laughs> Looking to join the dragon hunt? Of course! Always looking for some trouble! <laughs> But first, oh, get me some of that dragon head stew in your finest fine raid. I've been dreaming about that for ages. This beast will be tough, even for you. Frankly, the folks here in Dragon City are scared. Yes, I've seen cookies leaving for safety. How about you? The city will perish without my stew. Without my fire aid. Besides, with my lovely twins here, I'm in trusty hands. <laughs> you three must be starving. The food and drinks will be coming right up. Kids, three stews and three glasses of fire aid for my sweet pinky berry cookie here. Sweet. Pinky Berry. <laughs> Do you like it? It was my alias from my Monster Hunter days. Ha! <sighs> a name I've not heard in a long time. Wildberry Cookie, you'll be calling me by this name here. Yes, you're. <sighs> Sweet Pinky Berry Cookie. Ravenous! Bring food and drinks! Three stews! 
Gear Fire Aid. Enjoy! Ah. Oh, you won't find stuff like this anywhere else in all of Earthbred! Ha! Barkeep, one more for me! This, uh, stew. Is there really a dragon's head in it? Ha! Who'd put such precious meat in an everyday stew? Relax! It's just a name. Ah, delicious! My crumbs! Is that sweet pinky berry cookie? Huh? I've heard so many stories. It's it's an honor to meet a dragon hunter of such renown. Please, just one handshake. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, oh, can, can can you show me your legendary shield? Oh, I'm rather new to adventuring myself. Let me learn from you. Get a grip on yourself. We're in the middle of our meal. Oh, ah, ah, I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. So, so sorry. Bon appetit. <laughs> so sorry. Are you uh, famous here? Or? Well, the monster hunter community is rather tight. <laughs> Besides, I used to stick around all the time back in the day. Oh. Are oh, my eyes finally failing me? <gasps> I see my beloved yet long lost other half. Huh? Huh? You are the fabled monster hunter! Sweet pinky berry cookie, whose strength is only rivaled by her beauty. At night, your pink visage haunts my dreams, and at dawn, I wake up with your sweet name on my lips. <laughs> Pink visage? Oh, sweet name. <laughs> Quiet, Pattaya Cookie. So what say you? Will you join me for a ride on my cute wife? I mean, dragon. <laughs> the blue sky might be a nice break from this stuffy inn. Ho oh, ho! Oh, dragon riding, you say? That might be pretty fun. Holy. I mean, sweet pinky berry cookie. You're from the dragon riders of the valley, aren't you? Huh. And this dragon hunt of yours? From what I've heard, no one rides dragons anymore, and everyone is out taming wyverns to ride instead. Also, cookies talk that the old speakers of Dragon Tongue are all but gone, and there haven't been any new ones to take their place. <coughs> ah. <gasps> Does this mean there were more cookies who spoke dragon tongue? More? Ah, I mean... <laughs> You're ever so knowledgeable, just as I recall. Um, sweet pinky berry cookie. We are the Dragon Raid, currently assembling forces here in Dragon City. Would you be able to join the upcoming gathering to discuss the matters of the dragon hunt? A mighty monster hunter like you would be an invaluable addition to our team. Hmm. A raid on the legendary red dragon that was recently spotted in these lands, I presume. Yes, that's right. Wildberry Cookie, this is it! I get a feeling that this gathering is just what we need. Oh, and um... Let's keep that ride on your wyvern for next time, eh? No, that's... <sighs> well, we were wondering if Royal Margarine Cookie could join as well. Is he needed for your team, too? Of course! He's the last remaining Dragon Rider, after all. Please join us, Royal Margarine Cookie. Fine! <laughs> Come on, 
tie a cookie. Wait, wait! Ah, I'm still eating! That is why the dragon hunt is so crucial! After all, it's the legendary red dragon we're talking about here! And what if the dragon attacks the city while you're on the raid in the valley? Dragons can fly, or did you forget about that? What's your point? Are you trying to say that we can't go and hunt down the dragon because it can fly? I mean, it's not an invalid point. How do you plan to fight a flying target? And these supposed forces you've gathered for the raid have had no training, and are all hunters used to working alone? Which is why we are more experienced and lethal in battle. Are you forgetting the vast amount of information that dragon hunters have provided this city through the years? Ah, and now you want us to thank you, is that it? No, oh, I'm sure that's not what Tart to Tan Cookie meant. <gasps> I can't believe it! Oh, hmm. It's Sweet Pinky Berry Cookie! Could it be? You're here to join the raid? Sorry for barging in like that. <laughs> Am I late? You're just on time. What? You! If it isn't Tart Tatan, Cookie! It has been ages! Last time I saw you, you were just a baby dragon hunter! My, how you've grown! Well, I'm a bit too old for such sentiments. <laughs> Is that so? Anyway, what were you discussing? Adventurers and volunteers that frequent Dragon City have gathered for a raid on Dragon's Valley. As we are assured that the Red Dragon dwells within the valley at this very moment, we aim to leave as soon as possible. But we remain divided on whether the gathered forces should focus on the hunt or on evacuating and protecting the city. After all, if the Dragon Hunt is unsuccessful, Dragon City will be left defenseless. Aha! Uh -huh. A tough decision, I see. You there! Royal Margarine Cookie, was it? What do you think? If you fly above everyone else and stay on the lookout, will the rain not have a higher chance of success? Hmm. Ha ha ha! Well. Since you asked, if it was up to me, I would immediately head home to pack up my things, rather than wasting time on these pointless discussions. What? Do any of you cookies realize what creature you're dealing with here? Have any of you ever even seen a dragon before? What's smaller than just a single dragon claw? Cookies! Who gets blown away by just a gust of a dragon's breath? Cookies! So, you do know. But, Royal Margarine Cookie, aren't you a dragon rider yourself? Exactly, because it's the perfect way to escape as fast as possible. And what about you all? How do you plan on escaping, hmm? If that is the advice coming from the dragon rider himself, then let's call up the dragon hunt and start evacuating as soon as possible. Yes! <laughs> you there! Why do you think dragon hunters do what they do? Well, I don't know. Because dragon scales can be sold for a fortune, surely. There's just one reason. If you don't hunt the dragons, they will hunt you. It's because dragons eat cookies with their friends and families and burn down their houses. Cookies have been hunted by dragons since the dawn of time. For cookies, dragon hunting is a means of survival. Long ago, when the cookies of your tribe first started riding dragons, that too was to ensure their survival. Although that tradition has now been rendered a meaningless farce. 
<gasps> At this very moment, Dragon City must make a decision in order to survive. As a dragon hunter, the only thing I can say is... I will fight this threat to a place I hold dear until my body crumbles or burns. Even if my opponent may be the legendary Red Dragon, many times my size, that is. Oh, birds of a feather. <laughs> Partitan, Cookie. I will join you. <gasps> when you have something to protect, and partners in battle you can trust, there is no reason to face away from the fight. I will join you as well. Me, me too! Us too! We'll, we'll follow you to, to the, the end. end! Us too! We will join you! <laughs> well, then it is decided. When the dawn breaks tomorrow, the dragon hunt will commence! It has been a while since we fought side by side. I look forward to it. Hollyberry Cookie. And I look forward to seeing how much you have learned as well, Tartatan Cookie. For victory! <laughs> Oi! No drinking alone! Drinking with friends is what makes it tasty! I think you've had quite enough. Oi! Wildberry Cookie! Come here and have a drink with us! I'm good. Oh, Wildberry Cookie. You really should learn how to unwind, you know. Are we so proper? Try to let loose a little, eh? So what you said there, back at the gathering? Yes? Now, there's no reason to fight when you have something to protect and partners in battle you can trust. What is it you are fighting to protect in your war against Dark Enchantress Cookie? Why, our precious friends and family, of course. We are fighting to protect our world. Are those cookies so precious to you? Enough to risk everything? Why, of course. I would give away everything to protect them. Even that soul jam of yours? The source of your light of passion? Uh. Oh, my beloved yet long lost other half. Uh. The, there you are! Uh. The poor my your sweet name is on my lips. You're completely drunk. Are you sure you won't be snoring when everyone else heads off to Dragon's Valley tomorrow? <sighs> I'm not going. <gasps> oh, see, I can't go. Why? I thought you were joining the Dragon Hunt. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a hero at all. Never was. Oh. Uh, now you know that too. 
I'm not a dragon rider. I'm a Sam. This seems quite savvy for Wyvern, though. In our clan, when you turn 12, you must find a Wyvern to fight and tame for days and days, all to become a rider. I. The truth is, I ran away. The sound of wyverns howling in the distance was too scary. So that's when you met Buttercream. <gasps> How did you? The uh, beast just told me. Speak to Buttercream? Wyvern? <gasps> it can't be. <laughs> Buttercream, don't tell me. <gasps> You've learned how to speak with cookies. Whew. Huh. Anyway, are you saying you can't go to Dragon's Valley because you're scared of dragons? I swear! I wanted to become a cool dragon rider once I got older! Riding dragons, <gasps> saving cookies. I wanted to become a hero like that. But there's no way a small, insignificant coward like me can become one. All cookies are small and insignificant, <laughs> and they crumble so easily. I mean, no wonder dragons scare you. Nevertheless, some of them insist on fighting tirelessly. I find those cookies quite fascinating. That's who they call heroes. Oh. Miss, sir, your name was Pataya Cookie, right? It's Pataya Dragon. That's right! Uh, our friend Pitaya Cookie here is a uh, uh, quite the talker. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! This Mr. Pitaya Cookie is really something! Hey, let's have another drink! taking advantage of the chaos. They're coming from the valley to attack the city. Wildberry, Pataya Cookie, let's go. Hollyberry Cookie, I will join you. Court attack, Cookie. You're here just in time for once. <laughs> let's go, quickly. This red dragon won't get away. Uh, let's go, Buttercream. Oh, take off. Must escape now quickly. <laughs> ah, this isn't my fight. It's not my fight. Mama, where's my mama? Oh, 
Burning up. Yes. Rather than chasing the dragon, we should focus on saving the cookies of Dragon City. You're right. Spread out! Help the cookies who need saving! I have checked all the remaining embers. Every fire seems to be completely extinguished now. Huh. Thank goodness. I can't believe it. Dragon City, home to so many adventurers through the years, turned to ashes. <gasps> Talk to Dan <Tandu. laughs> The Dragon Hunters. Not even a half left. The rest. <laughs> Everyone has had a rough night. If you don't hunt the dragons, they'll hunt you. Tart the tan cookie. There, there's no way that that we can go to Dragon's Valley. <laughs> Even if we make it there, we won't stand a chance. <laughs> the red dragon was so big and much scarier than we thought. <laughs> We're calling off the raid. <gasps> Tartan -ta -ta cookie. Tartan -ta 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 cookie. I will work as a lone dragon hunter from now on. With my cannon, I will seek vengeance on the red dragon who destroyed our city. I only have one thing to ask of you. If you still wish to protect your home, do not leave this place, but help those who have lost their homes. I say this to you, not as a member of the dragon hunt, but as an adventurer who truly loved this city. Tart to Tan Cookie, we're, we're sorry, sorry we, we can't, can't join you. you. You have done all you could as my partners in battle, coming out here after fighting so honorably all night. Thank you, everyone. Holly Berry Cookie, I shall take my leave to Dragon's Valley. It was a pleasure to see you after so long. I'm sorry to leave so soon. There's nothing to be sorry for. Now is the time to show your skills. Since we'll be joining you in the valley too. Ah, alas, we were planning to go anyway. Hollyberry Cookie. Let's make a bet for old time's sake on who can defeat more monsters. <laughs> of course, for old time's sake. Wildberry Cookie, you stay back in Dragon City with the remaining raid members. Huh? Allow me to join you, Your Majesty. No, Wildberry Cookie. We need a cookie to stay in the city and guard the villagers. You'll be doing me a favor. After all, Dragon City is about to become the target for all the monsters in the area. Yes, Your Majesty. Please be careful. 
Of course. How are you going to catch a flying dragon when you're stuck on the ground? Won't you need someone in the skies? Royal margarine cookie. Fighting tirelessly for what you believe in. I wanted to try doing that too, even if just once. Huh, what can I say? I guess this is what happens when you fall for the most passionate cookie in all of Earthbread. You know I'm risking my life for you, right? Sweet, pinky fairy cookie. Ugh, what a slimy cookie. <laughs> I am Hollyberry Cookie. I mean, that's my real name. Oh, and how sweet it is. What do you say, Tartatan Cookie? A dragon hunter, a novice adventurer, and a dragon rider. This new raid party is quite something, don't you think? <laughs> of course. It will not be an easy journey, but together we can do it. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I'm not that fond of this novice adventurer title, I must say. <clears throat> All I have to do is be on the lookout for my pie, right? Then shall we depart to Dragon's Valley? Sound.